Hi, I'm uh, Francoise Aninotto. I'm super happy to be here tonight. Um, I'm here to talk about Legos, components, and admins. So first, Legos. I'm so fond of these little bricks. Uh, they let me build all kinds of crazy stuff. And React uses the same abstraction of components to let us build web and mobile apps, and you know all that. But there's something better than components, and that's components with a style. Just like you wouldn't want to build uh, the Millennium Falcon without uh, a set from the Lego Star Wars series, these days it doesn't really make sense to, sense to start a new web app uh, without a UI kit. Uh, these kits let you focus on uh, the business logic more than the presentation. But that's, that's even better than components with a style, and that's dynamic components. Once you add pistons, gear wheels, um, an engine, you have more than a toy, you have a working system. And the React ecosystem gives us all that. So that's fun and all, but if um, your job is to build complex stuff with Legos, you'll quickly get tired of these little bricks. Um, the old fishing store is an amazing uh, Lego set of more than 3,000 pieces, but it took me and my son more than 10 hours to build. And if I had to do that for a living, I'd really prefer assembling walls and roofs and floors rather than tiny bricks. So we need a new abstraction, we need a new set of tools for building large re React apps, sorry. We need a set of uh, templates for application parts, like for instance a search engine or a basket or a list of items complete with logic and data fetching. And these new templates, they can be components themselves, right? Let's call them application components. And the only trouble is that um, since they are high-level components, they cannot really be general-purpose components, and it, they need to be specialized for one type of application. And there is one type of application that I keep on developing over and over again, and that's admins. Every single project I've been working on in the past years needs an admin. In the most simple shape, an admin is um, a CRUD in front of a database, but the most successful admins are full-fledged ERPs tailor-made for the business of the customer. So my company, Mamalab, has uh, developed and open source a framework of um, application components for admins. It's called React Admin. It builds up on top-notch React libraries to help you build um, admin GUIs working on top of REST or GraphQL interfaces. Let me show you how it works. So uh, React Admin provides a connected list component which just fetches the data uh, from the API, prepares it uh, for the view and passes it to its child, and the child can be, for instance, a data grid, responsible, responsible for displaying each record in a row, but not rendering the cells. For that, it delegates to its own children, which can be a text field or a reference field, for instance, responsible for fetching uh, a friend key. And uh, combine all, that, all those components together, and you can define uh, very quickly an admin in a declarative way, uh, and uh, you'll get for free pagination, sorting, and filtering. And here is a demo of, uh, of this code plugged with a real API. There's no more code than what I just showed you previously. That's only 18 lines of code, but you already have uh, a working admin plugged to, uh, plugged to an API. And um, that's super fast also uh, thanks to optimistic rendering and a local cache. There are way too many components in React Admin to describe in a lightning talk. Uh, you just need to remember that it handles most use cases for, for admins, including for data entry scenarios. Uh, here is, for instance, how you would uh, build a, a form for editing a post. Um, it's uh, it's uh, very powerful because you also have uh, an undo feature and optimistic updates. Here's how, how the um, undo feature works. The, uh, when the user updates data on the, on the um, interface, uh, it's immediately updated in the UI, but the, the updated data is sent to the server only after the undo delay expires. And when the uh, uh, server responds with the updated data, nothing changes in the UI because it's already up to date, right? So that provides super fast uh, uh, interactions. Uh, just to make something clear, React Admin is not a UI kit. It's, uh, it's built upon a top-notch UI kit, which is Material UI, okay? And it builds application components for you to develop your admins. Uh, it's 
full featured anything you need from, from an admin, it probably has it from authentication, theming, uh, data validation, uh, dashboards, etc. It's super customizable. Uh, REST admin used to be called admin on REST. It was born two years ago. Uh, today it has more than 120 contributors, 4,000 stars on GitHub. And one last thing, um, we've deeply refactored uh, React Admin in the past seven months uh, to make it faster and easier to override. The new version, React Admin 2.0, will be released tonight. And we can't wait to see what you guys will do with it. Thank you very much.